people let us look at uh, ophthalmology syllabus for mdbs so basically here uh, what the objectives are at the end of the ophthalm ophthalmology you should be able to identify abnormal conditions of the eye you should be able to give uh, treatment for those conditions recognize and treat these conditions right and um, you should give first aid treatment referral you should be able to arrange for immediate referral right so you should be understanding this npcb that is national program for control and prevention of blindness you should be an active participant in implementation of this program that is national program for control and prevention of blindness yes so let us look at the contents of the course so this is the syllabus so theory what and all you are expected to know just the development uh, of the eye the coats of the eye the blood supply the nerve supply right all this anatomy you should know the oculomotor nerves extraocular muscles visual pathway all this you have studied right in physiology even in anatomy physiology of vision tear film aqueous humor formation i'm sure you would have known this already then coming to pharmacology do you know in pharmacology routes of drug administration ophthalmic preparations route of drug administration uh, for this eye drops etc antibiotics antivirals antifungals you have studied all this right in antimicrobials chapter that is chemotherapy cycloplegics anti glaucoma drugs so you know a lot of anti glaucoma drugs like latanoprost lot of prostaglandins you know then you have adrenergic drugs right so so many drugs are there for anti glaucoma you have studied all that then pathology you should know you have studied already retinoblastoma malignant melanoma squamous cell carcinoma basal cell carcinoma you have studied this these two at least in the skin chapter you have studied right so retinoblastoma that's again the rb gene right all that you have heard of malignant melanoma this is again a skin condition right then uh, now let us come after all this pathology pharmacology first year and second year subjects they starting here they are telling about elementary optics okay is this fine yeah so now let us look at uh, elementary optics reflection refraction optical system of the normal eye refraction ref so now you will be like why the hell we had to study physics right in neet so now you know reflection refraction <clears throat> optical system strums conoid right we'll come to all this then diseases of the eye so basically here they are talking to you about conjunctiva you should know acute conjunctivitis infective conjunctivitis bacterial conjunctivitis then um, viral conjunctivitis allergic conjunctivitis then some other things which are desirable to know just look at what you should know then you should know in cornea you should know corneal ulcer say cornea cornea yeah. okay cornea so basically you should know about the corneal ulcers vitamin a deficiency keratomalacia so a lot of things you have you these terms are very familiar to you right you will go into details of all this then um, keratoplasty keratitis keratomalacia desirable to know you should know some other deep keratitis etc let's go to sclera now in sclera you should know you should know scleritis episcleritis scleromalacia perforance blue sclera say blue blue you will track similar terms here uveitis right etc ophthalmitis pan ophthalmitis association of systemic diseases in uveitis lens what should you know about the lens cataract senile cataract you should know a lot about it you should know intraocular lens implantation congenital cataract etc so you should know senile cataract congenital cataract all the cataracts vitreous what should you know about this vitreous detachment vitreous hemorrhage glaucoma glaucoma you should know the types of glaucoma angle closure glaucoma open angle glaucoma and even congenital glaucoma right so basically you should know about how, the reasons they are caused the uh, etiology the pathogenesis all that right now let's move on guys we'll go a little fast from now retina 
Retina, you should know diabetes, mellitus, hypertension, that is diabetic retinopathy, right? So, you've heard of all this diabetic retinopathy, retinal vascular diseases, retinal detachment, etc. Then coming to optic nerve. Optic nerve, you should know papilloedema, papilloedema, papillitis, optic atrophy, intraocular tumors. Guess how is it going? So, we are reading intraocular tumors now. So, tumors, we have reached tumors now. So, you have heard retinoblastoma, malignant melanoma, squint eye. So, you will have to know about squint eye, guys. Paralytic, non-paralytic squint, etc. You should have awareness about uh, amblyopia. Orbit, you should know about proptosis. Lacrimal system, you should know causes of epiphora. Is it uh, going so far? So good. Shall we continue? So, eyelids, you should know blepharitis, hordeolum, etc. Refractive errors, must know. You should know about myopia, hypermetropia, astigmatism. I think you have already, you already know about these, right? Presbyopia, right? All these you already know. At least some basics you know in physics, right? Injuries, you should know perforating injuries, which uh, a lot of perforating injuries, contusion injuries, chemical burns, all that you should be able to know. Then ophthalmic surgery, you should see cataracts, you should know about cataract surgery, anti-glaucoma operations, how they will surgically treat glaucoma. Community ophthalmology, guys play attention here, it's ophthalmology spelling, okay. So you will need uh, all the community medicine stuff, types of blindness, causes of blindness, definition, objective of NPCB, you already saw this. So, uh, all this you should learn more in the community medicine type of ophthal ophthalmology, okay. Then, um, other things you should know, night blindness, color blindness, right. And then coming to emergencies, trauma, burns, glaucoma, acute congestive glaucoma, right. All these are emergencies, right. So, you should know about them. Practically, you should know about some skills. So, clinical skills are there. Some procedures which are only for observation in MBBS level they have given. These are some procedures you should know at observation level only. What uh, practically you should be able to do? Visually, uh, visual acuity testing you should be able to check the near vision, far vision, color vision you should be able to test, visual field test. You have done all these in physiology, right? Physiology practicals you have done, cover test, ocular motility test, assessment of corneal sensation, wick test, Right, lot of tests are there, you should know all these tests, right, pupillary size, pupillary rea reaction, all this you have already studied, Me meiosis, midriasis, all that. So, you should be able to do direct ophthalmoscopy, distant direct ophthalmoscopy, all these you should be able to, clinical skills you should have. Procedures, what you will observe and learn, so basically procedures, some of them you will have to do, some of them you have to just observe and learn, like installation of eye drops you should be able to do. Irrigation of the conjunctival sac, you should be able to do. Patching, bandaging, you should be able to do. Epilation of eyelashes, aversion of the upper eyelid, all this you should be able to do. Digital tonometry, you should be able to do. All these you should be able to do. However, just these star ones are for observation, they have mentioned here. Like use of lid retractors to examine an infant's eye. Lacrimal syringing test, then use of the some special tonometer. Then removal of extraocular foreign body, subconjunctival injection, all these are going to be guys, they are going to be what? Observation procedures only. So, this is the ophthalmology syllabus for uh, MBBS. So, welcome to ophthalmology. Bye-bye.